What's a base change? Think of a base change as a report card of how much genetic progress has been made. It's a recalibration of the breed population average back to zero. In April 2025, the U.S. base is moving from the genetic merit of cows born in 2015 to one born in 2020. It's important to remember. The genetics have not changed. The animals have not changed. What's changed is how we view an animal's genetic superiority. What changes will you see? Here's an example. Take a bull like 29HO21849 Blumenfeld Sam's son, an exciting, new, star of the future. Let's see how he compares between his U.S. December 2024 genetic evaluation today and his predicted April 2025 figures after the base change. Remember, these figures are estimates and assume no other changes to his proof. Starting with production traits. In December 2024, Sam's son was a nearly a plus 1,600 pound milk bowl. In April 2025, you'll see his milk figures look lower, but that does not mean he will magically be a bad bowl for milk overnight. He is just getting compared to a new base. Looking at health and fertility traits, it's important to understand what the traits describe and what a favorable or unfavorable number is. This time it will be important to start shifting your focus away from DPR and towards CCR. For conformation traits, it's critical to understand that the linear shape would still be the same, it just won't be as extreme. On another note, be aware that while stature will appear like cows are getting smaller, cows are continuing to get bigger. What does this mean for you? If you are utilizing criteria for your genetic selection, it will be critical for you to update your thresholds prior to the April base change to allow for the inclusion of the same numbers of bulls as before the base change. For example, in the US, if you were choosing a plus 1,000 pound milk bowl before the base change, you could now choose a plus 250 pound milk bowl after and still get the same genetic value you were selecting before. The numbers are relative to the new base. Base changes represent another reason to consider using a custom index or other industry-provided index over criteria selection. With this base change, you might see a more noticeable impact. That's because of the sheer amount of genetic progress the industry has made. And that is something to celebrate. As a genetics provider, we are here to help you navigate these changes. Contact your genetic advisor for assistance or check out our blog for more information and bull search to see the data.